Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Henley floor plan. This one is a nice one, four to five bedrooms option. We have uh, 2,752 square feet, so almost 3,000 square feet of a house with a two bay car garage. And this is a 24 foot deep garage because that's an option that you can get here. And uh, otherwise it comes with the 22 feet. And it starts at $517,000, this house. It's four bedrooms, up to five bedrooms with one of the bedrooms downstairs. Can't wait to show it to you. Now this is at the newest community, which is uh, Serenata. Serenata is a community built by Woodside Homes, as you can see right here, in Cadence. Cadence is the master plan community, and we're located in the city of Henderson, okay? To be specific, Henderson is over down in the southeast side of the Las Vegas Valley. And, um, you know, really nice the neighborhood out here with $50 only on the HOAs, no SIDS and no leads. Now, going into this home, the Finley, the Henley floor plan, you know, offers four to five bedrooms, three, four bathrooms, a bonus room, covered patio, also a 22 feet deep garage, unless you want to turn it into a 24 deep garage. Now, when you go here, you'll find uh, a nice side entrance. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like that. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about it. I do like when you get a side entrance because you usually get a really nice uh, floor plan when you get a side entrance. So I have mixed feelings on it. You have a full bedroom downstairs, a nice open space. And I'll tell you, this is the biggest island you'll have here in Las Vegas. Out of any island out there, this is going to be the biggest one. Decent size, well, big size living room as well. And, uh, <coughs> bless me. Windows here on the back, nice wide open space. But that's an oversized island. That's just an overkill, I feel like. You have four seats here. I think you can fit six. and then extend the cabinets over there as well. Now this one is a cool uh, layout. I love how big this home is and this centerpiece here is like a piece of art in this kitchen. Uh, you know, this is a 517. They have some homes that are a little bit smaller and listed a lot less, but this is a nice home. And uh, they have included uh, options here that are really nice. Let me go over them really quick. You get coarse countertops in the kitchen included, white quartz, sand, sand white. Uh, you'll get also cabinets are it's a nice birch cabinet included and then uh, you have to upgrade that part which if you just get the lower cabinets about five to five to six grand to add that then you get GE appliance package now the GE appliance package is not going to get this one but you'll get this cooktop and on top of it you have a micro hood okay and then uh, you will have the the oven is going to be underneath and then you'll get no refrigerator. Refrigerator is an upgrade. But yeah, this island is huge. Amazing. And, and it's not like it's taking away space from the living room and the dining room. So that's a really uh, great thing about it. You have the pantry room right here. That's a good size, lots of shelf spacing. Conveniently located right next to the entrance from the garage, which we saw from the outside, where you can see here nice two-car garage and it has an eight-foot high garage door to allow you to put in a truck if you wanted to upgraded stackable sliding door that's about a 12 grand upgrade so keep that in mind but it's really nice otherwise you just get two panels of those included okay and the third one wouldn't be there going out to the backyard you will find uh, pretty much the basic lots and these are going to be probably zero dollar lot premiums it's going to be a little bit tight to put in a pool if you want to put a pool but it is technically possible, not probably suggested because of this covered patio that is included, that it will take up too much room. So if you want to pull, you can get one of those bigger lots that are going to cost you five to 10 grand more. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's see. Um, so 517, where are we going to be out the door? With this one, somewhere around, well, you can do as little as 20 grand in upgrades if you want in here. I feel like 20 grand is the minimum that you have to put in a new home because it's those things that you have to put in first. Like if you need to upgrade a certain cabinet or a structural option, 
and then not do the flooring maybe and do it after. But for the most part, people will have to spend at least 20, I would say. So that, that's gonna put you with a smaller lot somewhere around 540, 550. If you wanna go all out, you wanna make it look like this model home, you're probably gonna spend around 70 grand in upgrades. So that's gonna put you around, let's say, I would say around 590 for this house. And see here the single sink, extended cabinet, and then there is gonna have a fiberglass tub and shower combo uh, with the cur uh, curtain rod. Bedroom downstairs is spacious. That's about almost 11 feet right there by 12 on this one. That's a spacious room. This is a queen size bed. And we still have plenty of room over there on the sliding door. Out here when you go into the, um, and I like how it's also situated here, this, um, this ramp right here to the second floor. This is off of the entrance, so it's kind of tucked away. And then also this bedroom is all the way down there. So it's it's a cool layout. I like the the position of everything, the island. It's just a nice open space. This is a great layout. Going over to the second floor, we'll find another three bedrooms and a loft. If you want, you can turn this bedroom into a fifth bedroom, this loft into a fifth bedroom. It would have a hallway right here, and then this would be the bedroom over here. Probably wouldn't do it if I were you. Now that would be the primary bedroom, and then going in here, we have all the secondary bedrooms, one and two. So the first one here, oh, it's spacious. Look at that, 11 by 12. Ah, oh, you can fit a king size bed in here. Not kidding. Not exaggerating. They made it into a gym. And then uh, second bedroom here. A little bit smaller, still plenty. Easily fit a queen size bed in here. That's about a 10, oh, 11 by 12. Yeah, 11 by 11. And then this one has a walk-in closet too, which is nice. I like when you get a walk-in closet because when you have a sign door closet, you really can't put anything else next to it because the sign doors take way too much room on the wall. Over here, you can put a nice dresser right behind there. So it gives you that extra option. I like that, personally. Right here, we have that secondary bathroom. We also have the like button, guys. So go down there, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, by the way, if you want more videos like these. And uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, by the way, guys. Uh, fiberglass tub and shower combo is included. This one, they upgraded the tile on the wall. You can do that at Design Center, two to three grand to do that. And then over here, we have the laundry room. This one is also upgraded. It comes with a rack on top of washer and dryer, which are not included washer and dryer. But you just get a rack right here, and then you can upgrade to the upper cabinets, lower cabinets, you can have a sink as well. It could range anywhere between two grand to six grand to eight grand here in the laundry room, depending on how many options you get. If you get the washer and dryer with them or not, if you get uh, the sink and all that extra stuff. A big size linen closet. They have this loft that kind of separates this side, which has the, the two bedrooms with the primary bedroom back there. So I kind of like that. And that's why this, this layout is really cool. You have also this uh, extra homework nook if you want to do it, if you want to make it into that. And then going into this uh, primary bedroom. It's a really good size bedroom here. This is about 15 on that wall by about 17 on this wall. So 15 by 17. King size bed, it feels pretty big. And yeah, so 517 starting price. I would say if you want to make it look like the model home, you're going to be at 600,000 if you do it yourself. Um, if you want to spend less than that, you can be at around 540 at the least. You want to be somewhere in between maybe 550, 560 is probably what the average people, uh, the average person is going to spend on this home. Man, look at that. Self-standing tub with a walk-in shower. That's definitely an option that you can add. But uh, this is going to cost you around 12 grand just to set up. That's not including the tile that they cladded right there on that wall. So keep that in mind. And then two sinks. It's going to come with the undermount, which is nice. 
And one thing about uh, tripod, and I mean about wood side that I really like, this is a good size closet too. Look at that. That's a nice one. One thing that I like about wood side homes is uh, their ability and what, what they're doing in their in their homes. They're not cutting corners. They're building some really nice houses. There's another linen closet here. They're building some quality homes, insulation, you know, most builders, we're talking about even the best builders out there, Toll Brothers, uh, Pol uh, not Pulte, but Toll Brothers, um, TriPoint, you know, they, you pay a premium for those builders, but then you see in the attic, you go into the attic, you have insulation vats, you know, like the, 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 the regular insulation vats. And okay, I understand that's the, the norm of what most builders do, but since they are that quality builder, they should go an extra step and provide the insulation that, for example, Woodside Home is, does here, which is sprayed foam insulation against the attic, the roof of the attic, which I think is a great upgrade. It costs so much money to do after, but the builder just with a few grand extra could do, but they, that's where they cut the corners and they do the regular insulation. This is what separates these homes, these brand new homes from, let's say a house that is from the 1990s or 1980s. 1990s and 1980s, they did insulation mats, and that's what they still do right now. If you guys don't know about it, just go and look up a video about it, the difference, you know. But pretty much with the sprayed, uh, sprayed insulation foam that they put into these attics, uh, you get an attic that is completely sealed, first of all, because it's you don't need the vents to cool down the area. And uh, the foam goes against the roof line, so all your attic space is insulated, which allows for your unit, your HVAC unit, which is the heart of the house to work at a way lower temperature and that allows it to last longer and be more energy efficient. Also the house is more uh, energy efficient because you don't have any trapped heat to the attic because of that fact. So I do like that uh, Woodside Home does offer that. I think this is a quality build, quality home and uh, for really, really reasonable price at 517 for 2700 square feet, that's tough to find and including also the fact that all the included options are actually nice. And personally, if I were to buy this house, I would just go with the included options because they're nice enough. I like them. White quartz, brown cabinets. That's my thing, you know. So if you guys are part of the, uh, if you guys want a realtor to represent you and help you throughout this transaction, help you buy one of these homes, feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below in the description. I would love to assist you and be your realtor and uh, help you negotiate. Maybe to get you some extra incentives if you're building from scratch or if it's a quick move in and they need to sell it maybe you know get that price down somehow uh but that's what a realtor will do for you so whether you are with me as your realtor or you want to reach out to another realtor feel free to do so but don't go in with uh, the sales agent because that the, the sales agents they're representing the builder so that's not going to help you uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video hit the like button subscribe and uh and let me know if you have any, you guys have any questions all my information is down below